We are back in Clinton, Missouri for the big bike ride across Missouri with Pork Bellies and several other catering companies. Okay, so where do I check in? So you can check in right here um, for the Pork Belly tent. Can I get your first and last name, please? Yes, David Paris. David Paris. In fact, the trailhead starts right up there about a block away. I'm in the campground where we're spending the first night. Last October's ride was so good, my wife and I had to come back again, and we brought our son and our two grandkids with us. My daughter-in-law couldn't make it because she had work obligations. But I hope you enjoy this ride and come along. I hope you enjoy this video of the ride. The Katy Trail is absolutely fantastic. Big Bam does a great job organizing it, so if you're going to do it, do it with them. But come along and let's see what this week's worth of riding brings for us in terms of adventure. You never know what's going to happen on a one week long bike ride. You want to explain your New Jersey? Yeah, so um, there's a concept from a, from a uh, World War II poster that I saw up in Connecticut. It's Rosie the Riveter, of course. We put a little, little helmet on Uncle Sam here. And then on the sides, we have the slogan, exercise your right to ride your bike. So it's the only sensible thing to do this year. You polo yeah. Good morning, good morning. It's time to start day one of the K Trail. And unlike Colorado, it's actually warm in the mornings here. Ready? So, Evie, you excited about starting the ride? Yep. It's gonna be pretty long. Yeah, 240 miles. Official start of the ride. Hi, baby. Hi. The Katy Trail is the longest bike trail in the United States and stretches almost all the way across the state of Missouri. The Katy Trail follows the old Missouri, Kansas, Texas Railroad. Basically the Kansas, Texas where they get the nickname KT that began in 1865. This has got to be one of the best trips we have ever done on so many levels. Riding, people, scenery, history, so much history. Welcome to Calhoun. There's remnants all along the way from when the Katy Railroad was a working Hi. railroad. <laughs> hey. Play with me, play with me. <laughs> Coming into Windsor for our first aid station. I'm Kim Henderson. I have Kim's Cabins here in Windsor. Can I have one of those? Tambourines? Yeah. Okay. We Thank have you. the nice rest stop with the Chamber of Commerce. Right down the trail, you're going to cross the bridge of the Katy going over the newest Missouri State Park, the Rock Island Trail State Park. It's 47 miles now of State Park that goes towards Kansas City. And then leaving Windsor is another 144 miles that goes east to make a circle of almost 450 miles. So Windsor is soon going to be a bicycle capital of the world. So we are already the crossroads, the crossroads of the Katy and the Rock Island. So it's huge and we have new businesses popping up. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Hiya guys. I've seen some... So is that a storm behind us over yeah, there? The wind is coming from that direction.
So there's some pretty big panniers you got on your they bike. They are. I gotta have big panniers to have beer and ice. That's full of beer and ice? That's full of beer and ice. Probably 52 to 55 cans of beer. Wow. And you're doing it as a service to everybody, but mainly for your group? No, mostly for everybody. Our group just happens to be part of everybody. Well, that's so cool that you guys are doing this. Yep. What are we serving up here? We are serving some delicious burgers, fruit, chips. Thank you. Thank you. You can hear the cicadas up in the tree. One of the cool things about the Katy Trail or Ragbriar doing any bike tour are all the small historic towns like Sedalia that we come through. We're eating over here at the Bothwell Hotel. Woke up to a really bad thunder and lightning storm this morning. Hopefully it'll blow over by about seven or so but it's gonna make for a soggy start of the day, but that's bike touring. A few moments later. All right, so the rain has stopped. You ready for today, Kai? Yep. On to Boonville? Yep. Look at this, we got sunshine. What's nice about the Katy Trail is even after all that rain last night, the trail dries out very, very quickly. So Kai, how are you enjoying the ride this morning? I'm enjoying it a lot, it's really good. And how old are you? Three and four and three quarters. Four and three quarters. And the cool thing is, Oliver has his mom and his grandmother riding the route too. <laughs> All right. I am 38 years old. All right. I am 67. And I'm Elizabeth. And where are you guys from? 67. Oh. We're from Columbia, Missouri. I live in Chicago. Leewood, Kansas. I am from Skidmore, Missouri. So I'm from Tyler, Texas. From Asheville, North Carolina. Old Colorado. Hi, um, my name is Sharon and I'm actually from Columbus, Ohio. Caught my first cicada. Look at this guy. Pretty cool. You can tell him because they've got these bright red eyes. one of the original train signals, one of the few that's still standing. There it is, the wall drug of the Katy Trail. Yes, it's time for the Olay song in honor of Ryan Van Duzer. Documenting and on video, I like that. Oh yeah, only way to ride. Well done, family. This is Katarina's in Pilot Grove, known for its pie. Hungry, Eddie? Yeah. Yeah. 
Hamburger, pie, yeah. French fries. Oh, all of it, all of it. Welcome to Katarina's. And what are you guys known for? Food, burger, pie. burgers, pie, homemade pies. <laughs> Man, Katarina's cooks the most amazing burgers and chicken club sandwiches, apple cobbler pie, milkshakes. But the, the worst thing about eating at a place like that, on a ride like this, is then when you start up again after lunch, all the blood is in your stomach and your legs, well, they feel pretty heavy. But it's well worth it. If you're doing the Katy Trail, be sure to stop in Katarina's in Pilot Grove. Where are you from, Heather? I'm from New York. Great, and how's the ride so far? We're loving it, it's great. A little muddy today, but that's okay. Love the ride. Love the ride, we're doing great. I love it. I was a little apprehensive to do it. I've heard different things about the trail, but my friends talked me into it, and I am loving this ride. It's been awesome, just great. It's awesome, it's been on my bucket list for years. And has it disappointed you? Not at all. Great company, great ride. Fabulous, highly recommend, 10 out of 10. <laughs> You can hear the freeway, they're coming up on it. It's amazing how loud cars sound when you haven't been around them for a while. And you see all the people traveling across the state on I-70 there. Then you can get across Missouri in a couple hours on the freeway. And it's gonna take us six days by bike. I would much rather do it this way by bike. We are in Boonville. You got a line over there, so might as well finish it up. Oh, don't me. We're headed over to Maggie's once again because we had such a good meal there last time. Well, day two is over. Hopefully we won't have storms that are forecast for this evening. Tomorrow's our long day. And last night, what did you think of that storm, Abby? I got soaked. You got I soaked in like it? it? It just thundered and lightning, and so everything I'm wearing right now is wet because my side of the tent got wet, but mom up side stayed dry. <laughs> so let's ride to the sunshine today, okay? Yep. Leaving Boonville over the Missouri. That is so awesome. Yeah, that's the old bridge. What a beautiful morning. Oh, gorgeous. Yes, good morning. Perfect. It is beautiful today. Everything should dry out on the trail. The clothes I'm wearing right now got absolutely soaked last night. I'm wearing them to dry them out. Coming from Colorado, it is so green here. And then you're riding through this tunnel of green all day long. I think I'm going to call this the Tour of Greens. Or how about 50 Shades of Green? First sight of the cliffs that we're going to follow all the way to St. Charles.
Merryweather's Cafe. Go over left, Evie. You can tell this place is popular. <laughs> oh, keep filming. <laughs> You have a step. One hundred steps. Shanks its way across the road. Can't think of it. They release water, and they release. You know, when it's tons of water up north, they got to release it in sections. just done, a neighbor had an excavator that day and he asked him to dig the holes and he paid him with beer and fish. Oh, you're kidding. <laughs> So what's on the menu today? We fired pizza. Can you beat this? A bike ride, pizza, shade to sit on, and we're right here on this beautiful overlook of the Missouri River. Scenery really opened up here. We got a great view of the bottom of the Missouri River Valley here. Ah, oh, yes. Farm store. <laughs> this is awesome. I love that it's on your honor and it has a money box and it has a lot of things to look at. Look Buy, at yeah. Yeah, a little slice of heaven. Yeah. In this place, wonderful. It's got yeah. everything you need. Especially if you're biking the Katy Trail. <laughs> Ready, Kai? I've got, I got two and a half. Look at this bridge. So we're coming into Jefferson City and all this open area around me right here, this park, used to be a housing area, a neighborhood. But when the flood of 1993 hit, because this is flooded so often, so many times, FEMA bought all the houses out so that they could just open it up and help the people move to another location. Hey guys. Hi guys. We made it. We made it. This is our shuttle bus to get us into town for the restaurants at eating tonight. Okay. 
Well, as you can see, I shot way more video than I needed to make one video about the Katy Trail. But that's a good indicator of how good the trail is. I just pulled out that camera more times than I remembered. If you like this video, stay tuned for part two where we go from Jefferson City to Herman, Herman to Augusta, and Augusta to St. Charles. If you made it this far in the video, kudos. Be sure to click on the little icon on my face that will subscribe you to the channel if you haven't done so yet, and you really have, all right? If you click on this little icon over here, it'll take you to part two of the video once I have it uploaded. If you click over here, it'll take you to a playlist of all my bicycling videos. And if you're interested in theology and stuff like that, be sure to watch the other videos on my channel. Until you tune in for part two of the video, peace.